Dangerous and riding with me in the patrol car, love truck. They're headed to the fence. Medical personnel to the finish line, please. I guess you're right. Don't you think you were kind of ruffling him? Kids are creep. He had it coming. All he said was he thought you were cute. Nothing wrong with that. Well, what about you? Do you think I'm cute? Um. Well, hey, look at that. Guys, you gotta see my car. Come on. Right home, my design. I wanted fresh suspension, sway bar, rack and pinion, and gas shocks. But hey, you know rules, so I just made it look cool. But it moves, hey, it moves. I gotta win this race. This could be a real career move for me. It's great, KK. Good luck. Thanks, CB. I'll need it. But hey, best car wins, right? Like I was saying. I'm glad you're cheering up, Sal. <laughs> Next up in the Idaville Funny Car Derby preliminaries, last year's arch rivals, Matt the Road Warrior Schnabel versus Clean Kim Campbell. Their magnetic ID plates are in position. The race officials have a clean start. They're out of the gates and into the first corner in their neck and neck. The Road Warrior is pulling away. He's definitely taking the lead. And the Road Warrior will win the seat. Enter to the appearance in the semifinals. Let me get that, sir. Hey, pretty cool car. It should be. It's the most expensive car in the race. Is it fast? Has all the options. Leather seat, red walls, and this. Stereo CD. Yeah, but is it fast? Of course it is. I don't enter races to lose. Good, Good luck, Purdy. A reminder, tomorrow's guest starter for the finals will be Chief Brown. Racers, please remember to bring your crash helmets. So who hand me the wrench? Drop the car, you die. What's the matter, Bugs? Wheel trouble? What does it look like, Brown? I'm changing the windshield wipers? That's good, Bugs. Have fun. Ah, uh, he ain't so smart. Quit shaking the car, Zool. I got work to do. Wow, great car, Davey. Thanks. Me and my dad worked on it for months. Think you have a chance? It's fast. If I get through eliminations, I think I have a good shot in the finals tomorrow. Only one problem. Gotta beat me first. Give it up, Bugs. Your hunk of junk can't beat this baby. That's what you think. My car is fast and built like a rocket. Where do you see? <laughs> you idiot! Good luck, Davy. <laughs> Customer. Truce. Truce. 
Hi, I'm E.B. This is my partner, Sally. My name is Dieter Cross. What can we do for you, Dieter? Juice? No, thank you. My brother Rudy and I are working on a science project. Oh, yeah, I know him. He was at the race course measuring Davy Freeman's car. Yeah, I saw that. What for? I have no idea. Our test concerns how Ohm's law is affected by flux leakage. Say what? Sounds like they made a magnet. An electromagnet, to be exact. AC? DC. 12 volt? 24. Uh, translation, please? Rudy and I made it. We kept it at the science lab at school. I went to work on it today, and it was gone. Somebody stole it. I'm not very happy. OK, Dieter, we'll help you find it. You know our fee? One dollar plus expenses. You guys got to help Davey Freeman. He won all of his heats, all of them. He has a real shot tomorrow. So what's the problem? Somebody stole his car. Get out of here. I'm not kidding. He left it under a tarp, went to get something to drink, and when he came back, it was gone. The kids and Davey are looking all over town for it. I suggested we hire you. OK, Peter, we'll help you find the race car. Let's play ball. Oh, yeah, Dieter's magnet. OK, I'll find Davey and check out the race car. You go with Dieter's at the science lab. Why can't I check out the car? Because I think Dieter has a crush on you. <sighs> Just don't dump him any garbage cans. He's a paying customer. Swell. And that concludes today's preliminary heats. Please be on hand tomorrow for the Idaville Funny Car Finals. I left it under that tarp. How long were you gone? Don't know, maybe 15 minutes. Did you make these? No, the tarp was clean when I covered the car. Heard about your car, Freeman. Too bad, I'll miss you in the finals. <laughs> you made it to the finals with that jump mobile? We got a fun on car encyclopedia, Brown. I could beat him going backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, the Idaville Funny Car Race Track is officially closed for the afternoon. Please be on hand tomorrow for the finals. Hey, too bad about Davy's car. It was fast, man. Real fast. What did you do after your race, KK? Hey, I won my heat. I was psyched. Had to get back and tell the guys. We didn't stop anywhere first? No way, man. Hold this, will ya? I come right here. Hey, gotta get ready for tomorrow. You want a bite? No, thanks. Later, KK. The magnet is actually quite small. It can almost fit into a shoebox. No lock on the door. Anybody could have gotten in. What's this? Hey, that's my brother Rudy's handwriting. But the calculations don't relate to our study of magnetic attraction. Speaking of attractions, did you know you have the most engaging eyes? Oh, please. You know, um, Davy's pretty bummed out, Purdy. Davy shouldn't be so upset. He wasn't going to win tomorrow. No? Of course not. I am. There's no contest. Farnsworth, two coats and use elbow grease. Have any idea who took the car? Why should I? I wasn't anywhere near it when it was stolen. Well, that's funny, because when I looked under the tarp, I found these. Know anyone that eats a lot of peanuts? Because he's a prime suspect. See you, Purdy. Let me get that, sir. All right, now you don't open the gate until I say OK. OK? No! Yeah! Yeah! No, you win! Hey, Rudy, I want to talk to you.
morning, sweetheart. Any break in the case, E.B.? Not really. I've got clues, I've got suspects, and I've got motives. But one thing really bugs me. What's that? Where's the race car? We've got kids looking all over town. It's not easy to hide something like that. You know, whenever I lose something, it's always in the last place I look. Of course it is, dear. Once you find something, there's no reason to keep on looking. I think if we find the car, we'll know who did it. But first, you're going to have a good breakfast. Go wash those hands. Final start at two, son. There isn't much time. Okay. Why are things always in the last place I look? Got him. Ouch. These are the four finalists. KK races Purdy, the winner races Bugs, and that winner races Davey. Could Bugs have stolen the race car just to make sure he'd win? That's pretty slimy. Well, so is Bugs. I like her. She's wacky, but I like her. She wants to win the race bad. I think it's because she wants to prove herself to the guys she works with at the garage. And her black handprints were on the tarp. I want to smack this guy. I tried to scare him by telling him about the peanuts, but he didn't break. He's got to win, or he wouldn't show his face up at his snooty country club again. The wimp. Anything new on Dieter's magnet? Zero. Only suspects, Rudy. Because the paper we found with the strange calculations at the scene of the crime. But why would he want to steal his own magnet? Don't know. Let's put that case on hold and pay a visit to Mr. Meany. Nobody here. They must be at the race course. What's this? Spray paint. Black. Empty. What's this? Equations. This can't belong to Bugs. He still counts on his fingers. It's like the one I found in the science lab. Look. The same guy did this. Dieter's brother. Rudy. What's it mean? It means we need an expert in physics to decipher it. Dieter! This is a projected acceleration and velocity of a mass traveling on an inclined plane. Now say it in English. It's a formula to tell how fast a race car is going to go. That's what I said. No way Bugs did that. I told you, this is my brother Rudy's handwriting. Question is, why was it outside of Bugs' treehouse? E.B., you gotta help me. I'm in big trouble. Another client? What's going on? What's the matter, Peter? I went to the race yesterday. I parked my bike next to a whole bunch of other bikes. When I left, I took the wrong bike. I didn't notice till this morning. So whose bike is it? That's why I'm dead. He belongs to Knuckles Noonson. Ooh, you are dead. Gee, thanks. Don't worry. Relax, Peter. Sally will go with you to take the bike back. Knuckles won't hurt you. Not if he doesn't want to get hurt worse. I'll go, too. I'd like to see you in action. I swear, there were so many bikes, they all looked alike. It isn't my fault. I'm innocent. Come on. They look so much alike. They look so much alike. Thank you, Kanzler. My client says he took the bike accidentally, for he thought it was his own bike. If you ask me, Counselor, that bike is very distinctive. I don't see how he could have mistaken it for another bike. Of course not. Not now. Suppose um, we recreate this situation in which the so-called crime was committed.
Order! Order in the court! Now, Your Honor, could you quickly pick out the bike in question? In my opinion, though each bike is different, it would be very easy to mistake one for another since they all look so much alike. Therefore, I find the defendant not guilty. They look so much alike. They look so much alike. That's it. Bingo! Welcome to day two of the Idaville Pony Car Derby semifinals. The winner of this race will compete with yesterday's top competitor, Bugs Meany, for a berth in the finals against Davy Freeman. At the starting gate is Bernie Vanderbeckel racing against an Idaville favorite, K.K. Wolfhoom. And Gene Brown drops the flag. And there they go into the first stretch. And it's anyone's race. It looks like K.K. Wolfhoom has the early lead. Bernie Vanderbeckel in his very expensive corporate finance wonder wagon has slipped behind the underdog, K.K. Wolfhoom. They're headed for the stretch. It's K.K. Wolfhoom in an upset. And Bernie Vanderbeckel is acknowledging the defeat like a true gentleman. It's simple, Sal. If you wanted to hide a needle, where would be the best place? In a haystack? No, with a bunch of other needles. You couldn't pick out the right one because they all looked alike. I can't believe I didn't think about that before. Does this mean you know who did it? I just gotta find out one more thing. And now K.K. Walu faces Bugs Meany. The winner will challenge Davey Freeman for the championship. Good luck, Bugs. Three, two, one. Bugs Meany is out of the starting gate quick, but K.K. Wallou bears down. She intends to make this a race, ladies and gentlemen. Bugs Meany is developing a lead as he heads into the first stretch. The crowd is pulling for Wallou, but it looks like there's nothing she can do. Bugs Meany continues to pull away and into the home stretch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Bugs Meany is your winner. A disappointed crowd cheers K.K. Wallou over the line, but nonetheless, Bugs Meany will race Davey Freeman for the championship trophy. It's almost time for my race! I gotta see something, Davy. It's official, Bugs Meany will go to the finals. Bugs just beat KK! I know I could beat him! Just as I thought. This isn't grease, it's paint. Black paint. Somebody wanted us to think it was KK. And probably planted the peanut shells, too. Now do you know who did it? Now I know who did it. Come on. <laughs> Zool! Nice car, Zool. Didn't know you were racing today. Sometimes to find the answers, you gotta dig a little below the surface. And bingo. That's my car! They painted it black. And they hit it with the other car so it wouldn't stand out. Right, Zool? Where'd he go? Oh, forget him. We gotta hurry. Come on. This will be the last call for entrance. Will Davey Freeman please report to the starting gate? Rules are rules. He's not showing. Trophy's mine. Afraid you're right, Bugs. Looks like you win. That means second place goes to KK! Yay! And the first place trophy goes Wait. to... Wait! We're still on. Oh, give me a break. What? Where do you see this? No way Bugs can win. Look at that heat. I'm not so sure. Come on. And it looks like the race is on after all. Davey Freeman is at the starting gate, and the crowd roars into approval. I'll see you at the bottom. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Ladies and gentlemen, they're out of the gate, and this championship race is underway. Davey Freeman and Bugs Meany go for all the bottles, and the crowd shoots them on. Coming out of the turn, Davey Freeman is right on Meany's tail, but Bugs Meany is pulling away. There's nothing Freeman can do. The crowd is cheering him on, but Meany is pulling further away, and they head into the home stretch. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Bugs Meany will pull it out once again. And Bugs, Bugs Meany is the undisputed champion of the Idaho Funny Card Derby. Could go that fast. You get this after all, Bucks. Good race. Wait! 
Pugs didn't win. Well, sure he did, E.B. We all saw him. But he cheated. Ah, uh, get out of here, Brown. Everyone saw the race. Got nothing on me. Ah, uh, but we do. Bugs knew his car wasn't fast enough, so he needed an advantage. And he got one. The starting gates are made of metal, so Bugs hit a powerful magnet in the nose of his car. When the metal gate was dropped, the magnetic attraction pulled the magnet and the car out of the gate so fast that Bugs always got a big head start. So big that no one could catch him. That's kind of far-fetched, E.B. Yeah, everyone knows they ain't smart enough to think of something like that. But you found someone who was. Rudy! I caught him trying to sneak away. You know what happened, don't you, Rudy? Ow, I didn't want to help him. He made me do it. Is that our magnet in the car? Yeah, but there's more, right, Rudy? I calculated that even with the magnet, Bugs still couldn't beat Davy's car. It was too fast. So Bugs stole Davy's car to make sure he'd win. I had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but he beat me anyway. It's the paint. The extra weight and drag coefficient slowed you down enough for Bugs to win. So, Bugs, what do you have to say? He's getting away! My magnet! Come on, Rudy, we're going home. Oh. Cheater. The winner! The best. The end. Yay! Woo! Yay!